Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannon's. Sign up for the Shannon's Club, Kenworth Trucks Australia, Pace Farm Eggs, and Holden Certified Service AC Delco Parts. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome as I bring you back to far north Queensland. You're about to see just some of the 2024 Atherton bike car and truck swap meet in this week's Classic Restos. And of course this is an event that's evolving, the numbers increasing each year. It's thanks to Don and the Atherton Wrecking Yard and of course Scripture Unions providing the chaplaincy for the kids that require it. And it's the 12th annual event here and it's the diversity of what comes through the gate over there which keeps this show more than interesting. It's time now to get around and take a closer look. And opening the episode, we start with a 1979 CM Valiant, totally original. How are you, Andrew? Good, thanks, Fletch. And yourself? Good, thanks, mate. You decided to get it out of the shed and go for a run, yeah, hey? Yeah, normally it, well, I've had it for about seven years, but I don't think it's been out of the shed for about eight months now. So, mad yesterday, getting her all ready, and mm. yeah, no, she's a good vehicle. Yeah. I thought I'd pick on you from the, uh, I guess, the originality perspective because, you know, you, these are starting to become a bit rare. So for you to do the right thing, bring it out of the shed, bring it to a car show, I think it certainly deserves a bit of recognition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what can you tell us about it, Andrew? Uh, 79 CM Valiant, 318 Auto, 230 clicks on it. I've had it for about seven years. It was painted for about, oh, about 10 years before I bought it. And a little bit of a sympathetic paint restoration, so to speak, right? Yeah, yeah, just a closed door one, that's all. I, and since I've had it, I've just, um, I did all underneath. There was every rubber bush and just a big clean up and pulled the interior out. Soundproofed it, the thing I hated, you know, the VH, you love that rumble, but spent a lot of, lot of money and time soundproof. Now it's a nice car to drive. Yeah. I like how you've kept the original interior, it's in nice condition, um, you can tell look, 238,000 k's on the clock, it's been a driven car, no full resto, even underneath the bonnet we've got the standard air cleaner there and you can tell that it's, it's a driver's car right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're made to drive, you can't beat the old Valiants. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, a, they're a good car, aren't they? Yeah, mafia staff cars. <laughs> that's what we were young fellas, that's yeah. what we used to call them. I think all these cars, these cars at the end of the run too, being CM, finishing in 1981 uh, when Tonsley Park stopped making, uh, our Valiant or Mitsubishi just took over and did the last of the batch for the CMs. But, um, mate, it's great to see this car here, yep. an original 5.2, 318 car as well. So the vinyl roof, is, that, that's in really good condition. Yeah, yeah. Usually they get a bit rusty under there, so I'm not sure what they did, but mm. had it for a fair few years, and you, yeah. every time you give it a good clean, there's no rust or anything. You've got a, you got a good one, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, she's a good old girl. Good on you, Andrew. Thanks okay. for thank, no worries, Fletch. Thanks for bringing it along. Now it's yep. time for you to go and get your egg and bacon That's muffin and your, and your and your hungry. and your coffee. Yeah, and I'd like a couple more valiants as well. <laughs> oh, well you're in the we all? Oh, you're in the place. You just yeah. don't know what you might find here today. Yeah, so. that's right. No worries. Thanks for that, Fletch. Thanks, Andrew. Yep, all the best. Well, I've got to say it's quite different to see a Monaro with a six-cylinder engine. How are you, David? Yeah, I'm great, Fletch. Really, this is a beautiful car. 1968 HK 186S. What's the story here, David? Oh well, I've bought this car in uh, 1979. Uh, paid 1,500 bucks for it, and. Uh, yeah, it's stayed with us and been in the family the whole time since. Now, have you kept it that long deliberately or was it by chance? No, it's totally by chance. I've had quite a few Monaros in, in that period, like a lot of Monaros actually. And just for some reason, this old girl has just stuck around. It's yeah. just always just been sitting out the back there or sitting in a shed somewhere. There must have been so many temptations over those years where oh, I might get rid of it or I might trade it up or whatever, sell it. but. Something told you to keep it, and I bet now in 2024 it's probably one of the most positive things you've ever done. Yeah, you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong at all, yeah. When I drive it, even when I drove it over today, I was like, man, I'm just so happy I kept this car. Not only, not only I love driving it, yeah. and another thing, man, every time I sit in that car, yeah. I feel like I'm 19 years old. Well, the thing is, too, the HK, not a real heavy car. Nice little package with the six up front. The originality perspective again you know it's good that it hasn't been yanked out and we've got a v8 sitting in there i think a car like this to uh, be uh, matching numbers in 2024 is uh, very important yeah yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with that side of it too yeah and we've kept it original for that reason like yeah. the whole interior is back to original it was done back in the day it was done and we used to retro them in the 80s yes. so it had the the sas steering wheel and the inserts in the seats and all that stuff that we used to do and then we took it, we just brought it all back to how it was. Good to see the 186 still scoring the 140 mile an hour speedo too. Yep, yep, and she'll do it. If she, oh, well, I've not done it in this, but hey, it's they've got some grunt, you know. They've got a bit of hook to them. Their motor likes likes to wind out. Yeah, they do, and nice and talky. Like, I can be in fourth gear and just plodding along in fourth gear. They're so well, the, the big brother with the 327 had no problem with uh, getting up near near around there. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. He, so I'm led to believe. I, <laughs> on racetracks and stuff, you know, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, we look at the interior. Talking of that, the 140-mile-an-hour speedo, the beautiful uh, the black vinyl seats there, uh, period correct from 1968 as well. What a time. It's a, it is a time capsule, isn't it? It is, mate. Yeah, it really is. And the, the, the speedo, the, the taco down in the in the console and all that sort of stuff, it is. Yeah, exactly, man. It's exactly just, you just go back to that era. Yeah. You really do. Yeah. Um, uh, over the time, the Monaros you've had, a favourite? Oh, probably this old guy. I did have a 327 uh, way back early, but it was a monster. We talk about this, we realise sometimes it's not always about performance. You don't have to have 400 horsepower every time to have a good car. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's that drivability and that, that, I reckon it's that feeling you get when you're driving that car. I really do. I just, and, and some cars, are, I don't know, man, you, you probably, you'd know, some cars have just got to look to them for some reason. And this was just always one of them. You could sit with 10 other Monaros and this just had a look. Yeah, yeah for some reason, yeah. David, great catching up with you. Uh, HK Monaro 186S from 1979. He's had it. What, what do we say? That's fantastic Good stuff, you, mate. Fletch. Awesome, man. Great talking to you. Thanks a lot. My passion for cars began when Nana and Pop bought their new Toyota Crown. It was Nana's, really. She loved that car. We went everywhere in it. My passion now is just the same, even though my cars are a little different. I've still got Nana's car. Couldn't part with it. And I reckon if she was here today, She'd be insured with Shannon's too. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts. Available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Your story began in 1971. It's part of an endless tapestry that tells the story of our nation. It connects innovators to artisans. 
forests, to houses, from the largest of operations to the smallest of outcomes. It's heritage. It's a legacy. When it comes to bikes, it's time for Mouse. How are you, buddy? Hey, all right, Flats. It's good to see you again. Absolutely, mate. What's going on here with this? Ah, oh, it's a bit of an old 70s classic, mate, you know? This is the, this is the one you came off, right? Oh, no, this not this one. I'd come off another one on the drag strip once, but this is my uh, old 70s-style chopper I've been building for a while. Okay, run us through a few things you've done to it, Mouse. Oh, there's heaps of stuff, mate. Uh, like made my own sissy bar, the back guard, the exhaust pipes, all the engine brackets, the battery case, uh, handlebars, um, the custom sort of steering head and triple tree. Yeah, a lot of work's gone into it. Eh? It takes a bit of time because you can't. I can't just go down the shop and buy it. You got to make everything, you know. So how long's it? How long's it taking your mouse? Well, it was on and off for about probably three years, but then last year, about January, I just got into it and didn't stop, you know, and so, yeah, within six months I had it all together, you know. A bike wouldn't be a bike without Mouse's touch. <laughs> no, well, it, it's, it's come up nice, it, like, yeah. along the highway it's beautiful to ride, yeah. you know, everyone goes, oh, the handlebars are a bit out of control, but it's, it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's great catching up, mate. St st yeah, mate. Stay upright. Yeah. Hey, you be safe too, fella. <laughs> hey, cheers, mate. Every year here at the Atherton event, the bikes do the show so proud. How are you, Al? Yeah, I'm well, Fletch. How are you? Good, thanks, mate. Beautiful 1975 Quacker here behind us. Al, tell us the story. Yeah, well, I've had this one for about 20 years and uh, restored it 10 years ago. I do all my own work and this is where it is today. Beautiful bike mate, the 900 and also too, 1975, it's just such a, you know, you've, you've had this bike for so long, you've had it restored, beautiful paint job. Yeah, and uh, that was the work of Mouse. He in fact painted that about six or seven years ago. Yeah, he's got a lot to answer for that, Mouse, doesn't he? Oh yeah, he's a character, no doubt. <laughs> These things have got just a sound of their own though as well. Classic bike, Al. Yeah, oh, I'm real happy with it. I've had them since, uh, the mid 1970s when I bought one new yeah. and um, basically had them ever since. Yeah. Uh, big four cylinder engine for a bike, they always they always were a big bike weren't they? Well in their time they were more or less king of the road, uh, these days not so much but uh, in my eyes they're a timeless machine you know, they're yeah. beautiful looking bike yeah. and uh, yeah very collectible. When you got the bike was it a bit of a mess or was it always a pretty good nick bike? It was in original unrestored condition, it wasn't too bad, but um, it's a hobby of mine that's been uh, around now since uh, I was about 15 years of age and uh, yeah, I just like pulling them apart and restoring them and uh, yeah, like I said, doing all the work myself. And Al, have you retained the original paint colours to the bike? That's the original colour scheme that's on it now, except that it's enhanced with a heavier metal flake and a bit more clear on it. Al, thank you very much for bringing this beautiful Kawasaki along to the 2024 Atherton Bike, Car and Truck Swap Meet. Good on you, Al. Well done. Thank you, Fletch. And time now for a Ford on today's show. How are you, Lee? I'm good, Fletch. Yourself? Good, thanks, mate. How beautiful is this 1956 Crown Victoria? What's the deal? Where did you find this? Well, I brought it from the Gold Coast Rolly Lay back in the day, Mass Road 25, 30 years ago. Um, and been building it for about 20 years and yeah. had it on the road for the last five or more years. And yeah. just everyday cruiser, that's all. It's, it's very cool, Lee. You put your own little touches to it as well. The, uh, the gear shift selector in there that's about 15 feet high. Oh, yeah, just wanted that sort of bit of a cool look, sort of um, everyday cruiser, sort of. Um, yeah, I don't know, just a um, bit of a... Uh, everyday streeter, I suppose. Yeah. So, yeah. I love what you've done, Lee. Although it's a big car with the steel wheels, it's given it almost that boy racer type look, hasn't it? Yeah, no, it's good. It's just um, wanted that sort of, um, I don't know, not overdone sort of thing. Too much chrome or anything like that, but just yeah. enough to. And the white walls, I love the white walls on it. Yeah. So it... I think the grey, the grey colour yeah. really suits the car. 
It took me a long time to pick the grey, don't worry about that. I had to find the right grey. Yeah. They all come out with you know, peacock blue or white or yeah. red and white, but I wanted yeah. Uh, yeah. I wanted something different. And, and what's the what's the grey? It's not just a primer, is it, Lee? No, it's not a primer. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't want to really tell you what it is because it's um, a car that you wouldn't want to you know, own anyway. That's all right. But your own little paint recipe. Yes. Yeah. So it's, a, it's actually a lot of Neva colour. Okay. With a little twitch to it, not much, but just a little thing, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's all right. Look, there's so many different ways to go with paint these days. If it looks good on the charts and you can, if you can picture it on the finished product of your car, if it looks good, well, run run with that, right? That's correct. Yeah. And the problem is when I picked the grey, this was before there's too many greys out there, but there's a hell of a lot of greys out there now. Yeah. In yeah. new cars even, you know. Well, the amount of chrome that you do have on the car just contrasts nice with the grey. Yep. Twin pipes out the back look really neat as well. I also like what you've done with the interior because nothing with the car is overboard. Yes, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want, I don't like that big flash bling stuff all the time, you know, but I just like that, I don't know, steel look sort of thing a yeah. bit about it, you know. Um, Speaking of the seating, Lee, are they the original seat frames of the car? They are, yes. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. And I just wanted, uh, like I said, to put the silver in there so it didn't sort of stand out too yeah, much with everything. Yeah. Um, that's, no, that's, that is very cool. Um, I like the dashboard. The, that Ford steering wheel, that, that's just so synonymous with Ford, the late 50s steering wheel, isn't it? it that is. large hub in the centre. It is. It's actually a Ford Thunderbird one, that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 56 Thunderbird. So. Yeah. Yeah, when I was in America, I just had to have a little bit of a look around and found one, so yeah. Lee, I have to ask you, under the hood, is there a Y block sitting there? No, sorry, there's not. I've got it sitting at home on the floor, but um, there's a Cleveland 351 in there, just C4 Auto behind it, 9 inch in it. So, so you've got the original Y block at home? Yes, I have. So one day when I get some money, I'd like to build it, so. Oh, mate, that's very cool. I'm really, I'm just. I'm really pleased to hear that you do have the original matching numbers engine at home for this car. Yes, I do. So I just got to find someone who knows how to build a Y block, that's all. Well, in the meantime, there's nothing wrong with the 351 Clevo, oh, mate. So. Like I jump in it, I drive it. Yeah. You know, I live two hours away from here, so yeah. it's a good cruiser, you know. Sure, absolutely. So, yeah. so. Yeah. No, good on you, Lee. Come up in the fog all day, all morning, so yeah, it was good. Like you say, turnkey start, reliability, you've got it. That's correct, yeah. yeah. No. Okay, mate, well, keep up your great work in um, in preserving the car. I mean, you said earlier you've, you've had this car a long time now. Yep. Yeah, no, I've had it for about 25 years now or plus. So. But, yeah, we'll jump in it and we go for a drive whenever we want to. So, yeah, it's good. Oh, good on you, Lee. Well, I appreciate you bringing it here to uh, the Atherton Show. Uh, Donny does a great job here, doesn't he? He does, he does. He, it's, um, everybody looks forward to this day. Yeah. And the weather's perfect for once. It is, mate. <laughs> right. Good on you, Lee. Thank you very much, Thanks, mate. Okay. No worries. Cheers, buddy. All right. Thank you. Like Dad, I've always been a Ford man. The Falcon Squire wagon was unloved in 1964, but turns heads today. The Americans call them woodies, but the panelling, it's just fibreglass and plastic. But it's a passion that Shannon's understands which is why my Fords are insured with Shannon's. And now, so's the home. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. And of course, if you own a classic bike, a classic car or a classic truck, it just has to be insured with these guys. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646. And keep in mind too that the Shannon's Club awaits you. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. And a recent acquisition as advertising sponsor to Classic Restos, I'm very proud to announce Kenworth Trucks Australia out of Bayswater, Victoria. This is very timely. We have this guy with us now. How are you, Greg? Oh, I'm good, thanks, Fletch. Top day here, beautiful day. That's all right. Good, good to see you again up here in North Queensland. Likewise, mate, yes. Yeah. Um, now, the that's all right, Greg. Now, we've got a 1972 Kenworth here behind us out of Bayswater, Victoria, obviously. What's the build number, Greg? Our build number 400204. Uh, so I'm presuming it's a 204th Kenworth uh, rolling out of Bayswater. Yeah. Uh, one of a batch of four, I believe, uh, ordered by Eastos to run up and down the East Coast. I've actually met the guy uh, at another show that was a painter 
for um, for Kenworth, and he can remember painting them back back in the early days. Yeah, he he knew the truck, but uh, so it's not a working truck now, Greg. No, no, she's she's definitely not a working truck. Uh, she's she's earned a bit of a rest, um, and, and as I tell people, it's more of a preservation rather than a restoration. So uh, it just comes out on days like this. Yeah. It's very cool. I think this is awesome because now the truck's in retirement, being well looked after. So leaving Bayswater in its early days, do you know what type of work that it did, like a bit more of its history, Greg? It, it would have been with Eastos. I'm uh, not sure how long they owned it, but I'd say she's had uh, quite a few owners in between. Um, when I came across it, uh, a friend in Brisbane had um, saved it from the scrap uh, merchant and uh, started to, to do it up. Uh, and then I got involved and, and brought it up here to Cairns and I've been tinkering with it for the last sort of four or five years. What did it do later in life? Um, I was told that it towed a carnival ride uh, on the show circuit. Um, it, chassis has been stretched at some stage so I think that was uh, to make room for a generator or a power plant that might have sat behind the cab and then the, the, uh, the carnival ride was, was hooked on the back. Yeah. Engine and drive line, what's it doing there Greg? Originally it was a, a 250 Cummins, it's got a 350 in it now, 15-speed uh, overdrive. Um, she can get along all right, it, it's good because I, I potter along the place at sort of 90 kilometres an hour and she's only doing 1,500 RPM, so yeah. she, she, she just likes that. So although a 1972 truck would have had a lot spent on it over time, Greg, how does it drive now as a truck? Oh, it's touch wood. <laughs> everything's, everything's working well. Uh, you know, she shows her age a little bit, but she gets down the road all right and not holding too much traffic up. Um, and, uh, you know, everything works and it's pre-computer day, so it suits me fine. I mean, our bloody roads are atrocious, so no doubt she gets knocked around a bit. Oh, that, that Bruce Highway is a shocker. I've, I've promised myself never to, to go back down there again. Um, but uh, it's just too hard on, on, on the old girl. And uh, I haven't got around to the, putting the concrete block on the back yet, but uh, I, was, I was trying to keep it looking like a prime mover. Good on you, mate. Well, the old girl's enjoying retirement, and it's a good thing that it's a good thing that you came along. Yeah, well, yeah, right place at the right time, and was was looking for something. Yeah. Greg, thank you very much for being a part of the Atherton Show here this weekend. The only Kenworth that's turned up. So, mate, you've got to be the best one, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, they give out a prize, but I feel like I'm <laughs> che cheating a bit of I'm the only truck here. Yeah. There's so much diversity here, there's so much different stuff that rolls into the paddock here every morning. It's quite an interesting show. I'm amazed. I, I go to any car show that's in Cairns or up here on the Tablelands and you think you've seen it all and then every show there's more beautiful cars and bikes yeah. turn up. Yeah. Um, and that, that was a great turnout today. Uh, credit to everybody for uh, organising that and yeah. thanks for coming up to, to have a look and uh, report on it, mate. That's all right. No problems, Greg. My pleasure. Again, thank you very much for being a very important part of the event here. To find out more about what Kenworth are up to, check out kenworth.com.au for more information. Thanks again, Greg. Pleasure, pleasure, Fletch. Last car on the paddock. Last bloke on the paddock. It's been a big day. This is it. Atherton. The bike, car and truck swap meet for 2024. You've seen just some of it. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Until next week, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, signing off from Atherton, North Queensland. Until next week, thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannons. Sign up for the Shannons Club, Kenworth Trucks Australia, Pace Farm Eggs, and Holden Certified Service AC Delco Parts.